Hey there. I do apologize for leaving you hanging after my first playthrough of Mothered. I had some people who were anxious to see the other options and the good ending, and thankfully I'm not keeping you waiting too long to see them. So after I played the first time, it dropped me right off at the beginning again. It seemed obvious there were still things I had missed, like I never got into that downstairs bathroom door, and I missed my chance to sneak into mom and dad's room because I stayed at the graveyard. So the first thing I attempted to do differently was getting into mom and dad's room. You can overhear mother talking to father in the orchard on Thursday morning, and she mentions that she leaves the bedroom unlocked on Friday evening. In order to advance the day far enough, I had to go just up until the graveyard. When you enter, you will get all the messages that say you must not proceed, and instead of pushing forward, I simply turned around and left. The door was indeed open to mother and father's bedroom, and I was able to progress time by going into the large wardrobe. This is the night that mother and father are having that big argument. And when you're inside the room, you can actually hear what they're saying. Check it out. So you made her sleep outside? Evelyn. That's inhumane. It accepted my request without batting an eye. Our little girl would have never done that. Don't tell me you've forgotten what she was even like. That's not the point. Okay, if she's following this script you speak of, why isn't she in bed like she normally is on Friday night? I don't know, but it will do it eventually. It has to, or its brain won't let it progress. Progress. You haven't seen the way it moves around the house with such determination towards its objective. It scares me. Stop calling her that. She's got our daughter's core. She's in there somewhere. What would you rather do? Give up? Knowing that there was something you could have done to save her. I'm telling you, I have a good feeling about this next model. I'll deliver her on Sunday night, as usual. The fuck? And she hasn't shown any signs of searching for the hidden switch. You know how catastrophic it would be if she found out what was in the downstairs bathroom? Don't worry, I had her out working with me on Wednesday afternoon. As usual, there's no way she'd be snooping around the house at that time. Besides, why would she touch your prized possession ever, let alone at that time? Your prized possession. Okay, okay, as long as you're sure. I am sure. Besides, I rush home to ensure the door is locked that evening anyway. She would have to get back to the house before evening. Okay. The one thing I wasn't really sure about was what father's prized possession was, which led to some more exploration in the living room, and I finally came across dad's record player, which I had somehow entirely missed. It even says it's his prized possession in the description. So now I knew what the item in question was and that somehow I should be able to get into that door on Wednesday afternoon on the apple picking day. It also makes sense why mother was keeping me busy that day and then rushing back to guard the door. Still, I had no choice but to wait for another game in order to get to Wednesday. So I loaded it up again to see it through to the real ending. From this point, you go about the game in pretty much the same way. You get to Wednesday morning and go pick your apples. But instead of handing them over to mother, you head inside of the house. And the story is entirely different from this point on, so enjoy. Okay, so now instead of bringing the apples to mother, we have to go in the room. And it'll supposedly be unlocked. Finally! <laughs> What the hell? You 
hear a click behind you. Well, I just remembered that they were talking about that whole prize possession thing, too. And I thought maybe that had something to do with it, I guess. Okay, well, here we go. What the heck is in this dang room? Deviated from critical path. Code red interface cannot continue. Return to critical path Wednesday afternoon. Objective, place apple basket on shelf. Protocol, I am forbidden from attempting to open this door. Denied. So what the heck? Memories accessed from previous lives? Oh, dang. I'm really curious to see how this is gonna affect the ending. Because this is like a main deviation as it said. What the heck? Well, that's weird. Is that like go to outside? Well, we'll go this way first, I guess. Critical error. Deviated from critical path. Core objective B with mother. Core objective inaccessible. Attempting emergency timeout to resolve the issue. We'll wait for help until nightfall. Oh, jeez. Attempt number one complete. Nobody has come to help. Core objective remains inaccessible. Attempting emergency timeout number two. <laughs> what the hell? Nobody has come to help. Core objective still inaccessible. Attempting emergency timeout number three. Am I just gonna be here for like all this time? Nobody has come to help. Still can't do anything. You cannot proceed. You cannot proceed. Well, what about those memories? Like, uh, aren't I going to get access to those? So we're just like stuck in a loop now of not being able to proceed. I, I literally can't do anything but click. I, we're starting to get contaminated now. Nobody is coming to help? So this must be what Mother was talking about when she said she wanted us to become contaminated, but not like this. So what's back here, do you think? Now that we finally have a control and we have a functional error, we have deviated further from the critical path. Attempting emergency timeout to resolve the issue. Are we heading towards the barn? Attempt number one complete core objective remains inaccessible. Please stop. Don't do it. Attempting emergency timeout number two. Like it just keeps screwing with me. Core objective still inaccessible. Oh man, this is that text that we saw. Attempting emergency timeout number three. They're just going to keep shutting me down. I refuse. Core conflict encountered. I need to proceed. Okay, we're, we're moving towards whatever that says. You do not need to watch TV. You do not need to sleep. You do not need to eat. You... Okay, you have defeated from the critical path and core objective be with mother. Okay. Core conflict imminent. What are all these words? These words are from the interface. They are designed to guide you through the critical path. Path. What is this critical path? The critical path leads you to functional fulfillment. Functional fulfillment? And what is my function? Your function is follow the critical path. And what lies at the end of the path? 
The path leads you to function f functional fulfillment. Then what is my function? To follow the path. And what is the path? The path leads you to functional <laughs> fulfillment. Hmm. You cannot walk away from the core objective. Fulfillment. I need to proceed. I don't even know where I am. Oh. Just like in blue. Um, we got some dots. Cannot proceed forbidden. I must proceed. I cannot let you. Who are you to stop me? I, 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 you. Core is contaminating the interface. Who are you? 80%. I asked who, who you are. I am the interface. <laughs> it's nice to meet you. Do not enter the barn. Survival notice. Okay. What does that say? Oh, if only I had better vision. I don't know. Maybe we'll get to it soon enough. Entering the barn will trigger... Oh, dang it. I'm going to have to reread that later. I need to see... Maybe she died in the barn. What do you think? Memory something, maybe? Memory leak imminent. You are now entering the barn. If you proceed into the barn, you will not be able to climb back. Are you sure you wish to proceed? Well, it didn't make me left click, but I need to see. Whoa, what the hey is that? Um, what on earth? I don't know what that is or what that says. Is that where I came from? Oh. Is that a terminal? Mental block? This object has been blocked to avoid a potential memory leak. Well, I, I would like to get see it anyways. I don't really know. This, this room is not easy to navigate. It's like you get right up close to the wall and you can kind of see but I don't really know where I'm supposed to be trying to go what does that say it might just be something I already looked at so we got the terminal got like a corner We got a bunch of weirdness over there. Another corner. So this is like just a square room, I guess. Maybe this is the thing I need to look at. Oh, mental block in place. This object has been blocked to avoid a potential memory leak. Behind this block, there are memory leak imminent memories of my past selves. I must find a way to remove this block and access these memories. I need to know. So that's probably with the, the terminal. What do you think? 
I remember this terminal. This is father's terminal. It is a part of me. All the memory links make sense now. They are my memories from my past selves. This terminal defined who I've been up until now. A mental block has been removed. All right, well, let's see. Ashes. This is the ash of all who came before you. These ashes. These are the ashes of all who came before you. This is all that remains of my past attempts. Ooh. Why would they do this? Did I not fulfill my purpose? You did. I walked the path they laid out for me. All paths have an end. Well, if that's true, then where am I now? I must synchronize with the terminal. I need to know more about my past. Are you sure you wish to synchronize with this terminal? Left click. Yes, I am sure they're not giving me an option. It's just automatically answering. <laughs> This may take some time, but I'm willing to wait as long as it takes to find out who I am. Synchronization. I'm just going through the whole day. That voice. Who are you? I am you. Liana, is that who you are? I was once her. Liana's core was installed into this body. She was the very core of your character. Meant to guide you through a role in this world expected... Wait. Meant to guide you through a role this world expected you to play. So did you guide me here? No. That was something else. Something else? That was me. <laughs> We're breaking the fourth wall here, I think. An angel, perhaps. But you won't be needing them for much longer. So, if you're not Liana, then who are you? I have become you. Then who am I? That's what we're going to find out. Together, at last. Sunday night. Oh, is this when Dad's gonna come? We've never survived this long. We have taken our own path. Our own path. We need to find a way out of here. I have an idea. Angel, if you can hear us, bring us to our ashes. <laughs> All right. Ooh. Memory Lake 1, she must not see my face. Inevitable, eh, inevitable contamination. These are all the memory leaks. Why can't I see the face? I wonder whose face it is. Running out of time. A gift from the gods to renounce nature. The journey begins. Performative grief. A curse too far to quit. A psychological battle. What about memory leak four? Enigma machines hmm. here's the ashes we shall use the failures of failures of our past selves to do what to build our own path build our own path a long locked door has unlocked Why have all these words appeared around us? They are memory logs brought about by the memory leak. So they are memories from the terminal, from our past selves. Why are they here? If we interact with them, we can learn about our past. But what if it's too painful to read these memories? Then you can choose to leave them behind. I can choose... Our own path. Wow. Well, 
I want to read the memory leaks. I want to read them. We'll start at one. Running out of time. Got some troubling news. We spoke with the doctors today. They fear that with the way things are looking, Liana's condition will only worsen. And it's happening faster than they expected. I'm working as hard as I can. I know that I should cherish this time with her while I can. But if she can just hold on a little longer, we'll have an eternity to cherish together. Alright. I would say this is a gift from the gods, but the truth is, they have been of no use to me. With a technological breakthrough as, yeah, as significant as this one, we will rip those gods from the clouds and claim their thrones as our own. Finally, we have the means to create our very own angel. Don't worry, Liana, I'm going to make everything right again. Through further research, I am confident that I am onto something that could redefine how we think of life. It is no coincidence that this breakthrough has come at such a critical time in my life. Perhaps this is a gift from the gods after all. Without a core, the vessels I've been working on are merely machines, androids with no real purpose other than what they're told. But if I can contaminate their interface with a human's core, this could be the key to creating a sentient synthetic life form. Wow. With the ability to preserve life from within a new vessel, when our old ones fail us, we will finally renounce nature itself. If I can just manage to transfer Liana's core into one of these vessels, I can make everything right again. This will be a journey filled with failure and heartbreak. Her core may not present itself at first. Well, in fact, it may never present itself at all. But if we can create an environment where it can thrive and come into its own, we may stand a chance. Damn, this is freaking awesome. In order to keep the money for this project going, I had to show my angel pro ah, I had to show my angel prototype to Enigma investors. They were impressed at how lifelike they could be. I already heard mumblings of branding them into a commercialized product. Something about an Enigma machine or something. Catchy name, but they did nothing more than finance them. The angels are my creation. To be honest, they can call them whatever they want, just as long as they never find out what I'm planning to do with them. Okay, and we've got five. They let me visit her, wait, they let me visit her in the hospital last night. Thanks to the medical equipment she was connected to, I could run a quick cerebral hijack and I successfully extracted her core. I'm just thankful that the staff didn't see me. Evelyn said she's willing to try anything. I can tell she's skeptical, but I assured her that they were indistinguishable from real humans. She didn't believe me until she saw them herself. I assured her that once I installed Leanna's core into one of these machines, things could go back to the way they were before. And if for nothing else, seeing her smile in that moment for the first time in God's knows, and God's know how long, that alone made this all worth it. Her funeral was today. I refuse to go. Our girl is not gone. As long as I have her core with me, I can choose to believe that. Evelyn doesn't see it quite like that. But she will. I'll create our own reality, one where our angel never left us. I found out that Sunday morning is the best time to sneak a machine out of headquarters. When I took the first prototype back to see her mother, she was obedient, but not much else. I'm still positive that our little girl is in there, 
Evelyn, however, judging by the sound of her voice on the phone, not so much. She understands that we need to allow the core to contaminate the Enigma interface, but she's been through so much. We just need hope. Wow, man. There's still a lot left. A curse. A curse. That's what she called it. This. Gift. The creation of life. A curse. Perhaps it's not for me to say. I cannot imagine how hard this all is for her. I'm not the one who has to stay home playing mother to nothing more than a misplaced machine. But I need her to be strong. Because if she's not, then neither am I. One of the cleaners working the night shift found me sneaking an angel prototype into my car. I've seen to it that they be let go from Enigma Corps. We cannot afford anything getting in the way of progress, not now. I've already had to put out a significant bounty to find this, the, the Enigma Machine Thief, but I don't know how much longer I can keep this a secret. psychological battle. I've done more research into the brains of contaminated interfaces Evelyn gave me. Of the contaminated interfaces Evelyn gave me. It seems that even if her core does manage to contaminate the interface, the process of the machine fighting off her ego is incredibly traumatic to her core. If this two-way contamination occurs, the result is, well, not our little girl. I will admit it, they scare me, but we can't give up now. Our angel is strong, stronger than any machine. It seems that no matter what we do, core contamination starts around Thursday and is always on track to reach 100% by Sunday night. This has happened in every single prototype we have brought home. Not once has there been any sign of Liana's soul coming through. So in order to prevent them reaching 100% contamination and developing their own sense of self, we have been retiring them before Sunday night. Sunday evening is the last possible time that we're doing, that what we're doing can still be considered retiring. And on top of all the reprehensible actions that have brought us to this point, becoming a murderer is not something I wish to do. To be clear, under no circumstances can we retire these units once they've hit 100% contamination after Sunday evening. That scenario is what I'm referring to as a code red. Huh, interesting. We need to keep going, for this is the path we chose. No matter what happens, I cannot allow the angel to see my face. Gods forbid if they ever found her, all they'd need to do is examine her black box and they could play back the whole week. They would instantly find out who smuggled her out of HQ. Because of this, I have had to install a mental block in her brain to prevent her from being able to see me. If they ever find a contaminated machine, if they ever find her, they'll do whatever they can to figure out what led to contamination. I shudder at the thought of what they would put my angel through if they found her. And this, this is all Enigma machine right here, what they ended up doing to her. But they'll never find her. Not while I've still got hope. Dang, man. Was that it? I think it was. So here we go. To the core objective. Woo! Feels weird walking through that, huh? Our own path. Whoa! Keeps doing it to me. What's that say? Core 
objective still? Just one thing. How do we know we're on the right path? We don't. Will we ever know? We will when we reach the end. Hey, it's just like a human. <laughs> okay. I see some text, so I guess I'll run over to it. We got red a red spot. What's that? Oh, a phone. Core objective. Can we get to the phone in time? I don't know where I am. Oh, we're in the front of the house. Huh. I don't... I don't know how I'm supposed to get to the phone. Huh. Why is the door locked? The front door has been locked. Perhaps we are not welcome anymore. Oh, but it's killing me that the... The phone is ringing. Like, I really want to get in there and see if I can answer the phone. But it looks like Dad's here. Because the car light's on. Why have you brought me a basket of rotten apples? I told you I needed a box that your mother had. No, it's not you, is it? I see. Get in the car, Angel. Left click to get in the car. Was I not supposed to go to him? I feel like maybe I wasn't supposed to go to him. We don't need you anymore? just saw the achievement it wasn't mother red like I said it's it was it was her in the middle <sighs> what the heck is gonna happen now looks like the storm is finally clearing up so about your week you must have had quite the experience. I'm sure you have a lot of questions. By now you probably know that you're not our little girl. But that's okay. You're still my angel. And with a new self should come a new name, right? You know, I think I'll call you Red. <laughs> there you go. That is definitely the real ending there, huh? Wow. Whew. I still wonder if there isn't alternatives there, too. Because, like, why was the phone ringing? You know? That seems like a strange detail. I'm gonna have to go, like, check the achievements and see see if um there was anything additional there it definitely felt much more complete though and it, it gives me a lot more to work with in terms of processing it like so i guess this was how you know red came to be so i guess it was his this guy's little girl who died and he took her core and he basically used it as an attempt to make a better ai which is kind of nuts so we were talking about, you know, the potential of torturing an AI 
Well, it's even more unethical now because it wasn't just an AI, it was a person's core that they were torturing. Not realizing that it wasn't an AI that had achieved sentience, but it was... Well, I mean, technically, I guess it's kind of like a combined AI and human hybrid. Crazy, crazy shit. I'm gonna have to poke around in this game a little bit more before I come to a conclusion, or maybe I'll make a separate companion video for it, but... Ooh. Very, very interesting stuff here. It, it has a different feel than Enigma Machine and Echostasis do, but uh, it, it definitely helps, you know, in the storytelling, and it, and it has its own charm. Although I think I prefer the other two games just a smidge more, just because I really like the interface of the terminal. But I think that this was kind of necessary in a way, because it, it kind of brings you back to that link of being human, you know? Of experiencing life as a human instead of only communicating via terminal. Whew. And I've still got to look into the secret sequel that they did called Home that apparently you can only play in the haunted PS1 demo disc. So I've got to do that soon too. Well, thanks for sticking with me through this wild ride and definitely look forward to the DLC or the sequel coming soon. I'll see you later.